So the directions here tell us to uh, split this square into two equal triangles. Um, so I'm going to draw a diagonal like so and draw a little right angle right there. I'll draw a right angle right there as well. There we got our two triangles. And then the direction said that the, the hypotenuse of the triangles is 1. So I'm going to put a 1 right there. Now the, tri or the, the, the directions says that we need to find the lengths of these sides, the missing sides in the triangle. Do you guys remember 45, 45, 90? There's a key. If you remember the key, you can find all the missing sides if you know one of the sides. Now we know something about squares. All the sides are equal. That's important to note. And you also need to know this. Yeah, you're thinking, you're thinking. So this is a 45, 45, 90. Oh, let's put our 45 degrees on these things. 45, 45, 90. So this hypotenuse side is, let's use A. A square root of 2, and this is A, and this is A. You guys remember that? Remember that little cute key right there? So what we do is, is we say, hey, that 1 equals A times square root of 2. So if I wanted to find this side and this side, I just have to find the value of A. So, let's do. We have A square root of 2 equals 1. Divide both sides by the square root of 2. We get 1 over the square root of 2. Which is good and right, however, um, at this level of mathematics, we don't leave a square root on the bottom of a denominator. So, that means we have to multiply the top and the bottom by the square root of 2. Now, watch what happens. What is 1 times the square root of 2? Square root of 2. What is square root of 2 times the square root of 2? Square root of 4. And what is the square root of 4? Dose. So what's the measure of this side? Square root of 2 over 2. And what's the measure of this side? Square root of 2 over 2. And there you have it. We have the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle with a hypotenuse of 1. And this is important. Because the hypotenuse is 1, we can fit this inside of our unit circle, which I will show you guys in a minute. So the triangle that you just cut out, guys, this is the triangle that you just cut out. I'm going to draw in purple. There it is. On the inside, you're going to do that. You're going to put a 45 right here. You're going to put a 45 right here. And then you're going to put a 1 on the hypotenuse. So I put a 1 right there. And we're going to put a square root of 2 over 2 on one side and a square root of 2 over 2 on the other side. It'd be cool if you did the sides a different color than you did the angles. But it's up to you. Take that triangle and put it on your unit circle like so. Now when you take that triangle and put it on your unit circle, you can tell me what the coordinates are for the 45 degree triangle. For the 45 degrees inside of the unit circle. What are the coordinates for this point right here? We need the X and we need the Y. The X goes out this way. What is the length of this side? Square root of 2 over 2. Rad 2 over 2. And what's the height? What's the Y value? What's the height? Rad 2 over 2. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. Now we can also take that triangle and we can go to the other quadrant. Check this out. Um, I can go to... Which quadrant can I go to? I can go to this quadrant right here. Let's go to quadrant... Uh, quadrant 3. I can't, I can't take my triangle and flip it upside down, but you can. You can flip your triangle upside down, and you can do in the quadrant of the quadrant two. But look, I put my triangle right here, so now I know the coordinates of 225. What are the coordinates of 225? Talk to your neighbors. Wait, square root of 2 over 2 and square root of 2 over 2? Again? Nah. What is this square root of 2 over 2? Uh, why is he special now? Why is he different? He's negative. We have a negative square root of 2 over 2 for the x, and we have a negative square root of 2 over 2 for the y value. Now you guys need to write the measurements on the other side of your triangle and do the same thing for quadrant 2 and quadrant 3. You will see the 45-45 degree triangle match up with the 135 and the 315, and you'll be able to tell me the coordinates for those points also.